My name is Kathleen McElvenna. I'm a historian based at the University of Derby and one of the uh, people working on the project Addressing Health. What I wanted to do today was introduce you to what is probably my favourite uh, archives. I mean, we shouldn't probably have favourites, but I'm afraid I do, uh, that are based at the Postal Museum and are really integral to the Addressing Health project. These are the pension records. So the pension records can be found within these volumes of treasury letters held within the Royal Mail Archive held at the Postal Museum. Now these are volumes and volumes of correspondence between the post office and the treasury. And this includes applications for pensions for individuals and then the treasury response, whether they're granting it or not granting it. The Addressing Health Project is interested in the Victorian and Edwardian period and thinking about health. And these records stretch right across that period and more. Furthermore, they cover individuals who are based in England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales. But now we get to the really good bit, what's in the actual pension records. So this is an example of all this amazing information that is in there from uh, the name, where they were based, how old they are, how long they worked for the post office. Um, and you get their whole sort of employment history, so their relationship with their employers, as well as um, why they retired, whether it's ill health or old age. The beauty of these records is that you don't just get a snapshot in time of when someone is leaving their employment at the post office, but you get a real sense of their career and of their relationship with their employer. At the end of these forms is some fantastic detail. We get a count of the number of sick days someone has had over the past 10 years. And there's also a sort of character reference, many very standardized, but also some with some fantastic detail, such as disciplinaries, accidents, or really good service that the post office is proud of. With funding from the Wellcome Trust and working closely with the Postal Museum, our plan is to digitize these records and make them available to everyone. Hopefully this short video has given you some insight into one of the most important sets of records for our project. If you'd like to know more and keep up to date with our work, please follow us on Twitter at Postal Health. You can also keep up to date with our work and our publications and our blog at www.addressinghealth.org.uk. Please do keep an eye on this if you'd like to get involved in the project because there'll be lots of ways and we'll be talking about them very soon. Thank you for listening and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.